All right, Nick, let's talk about the Chicago Bears. And, of course, today we're talking about the offensive side of the football. Everyone loves what the Bears have done offensively. We're talking all these young guys that are on the team, all these rookies, Romo Dunze, Caleb Williams. Everybody is looking at this new Bears offense and saying, man, these young guys are going to be super talented. But I think there's a guy that consistently has been getting overlooked that is an addition to this offense. I think is going to be a big time contributor as well. Let's get into the article. We're going to talk about more about him on the other side. This, of course, is from Bears Digest and it says, "Well, Chicago Bears newcomers Caleb Williams, Keenan Allen, Romo Dunze, and DeAndre Swift get most of the fans and media's attention. Gerald Everett was a sneaky good addition this offseason. The veteran tight end spent six of his first seven seasons in Los Angeles, first with the Rams, then last two seasons with the Chargers, but also." Spent a year in Seattle with new Bears offensive coordinator Shane Waldron. With his familiarity with Waldron, he should be able to jump right in and play a big role for Chicago in the upcoming season. And pairing him with Cole Komet will give defenses all kinds of headaches as they won't be able to focus on just one tight end. With those two plus three legitimate threats at wide receiver, Waldron will have the ability to be flexible with his personnel groupings to best attack defense. Nick, I think this is great news from the Bears and truly, I think, severely underlooked talent pool on this Bears roster. This tight end core is going to be scary good. I'm curious what your thoughts on this one are. But before we get to you, Bears fans, in the comment section below, we're talking about some new tight ends for the Bears, some great tight ends. There's a very easy answer to this question. So I'm going to take that one off of the table. If you don't know, then you probably shouldn't be answering. But who is your favorite Bears tight end of all time? I think there's a lot of great options outside of the easy one. So let us know who is your favorite Bears tight end of all time in the comment section below. And while you're down there, check out the description below the video. We have a great book that we're going to recommend to you for some summer reading this year. And it is none other than Playmakers by Mike Florio. Nick Gotti might hold it up for us. This is a great book. It's really breaking down the inner workings of the NFL. So if that's something that interests you, I think you should definitely give this book a look. Check out the description below the video and uh, use our link to buy it. Really, it will help us out. But Nick, what are your thoughts on Gerald Everett? You know, every offseason, anytime a team makes a lot of wholesale changes, a lot of headline grabbing moves like the Bears obviously did, it's sometimes those under the radar moves that will have the biggest impact. And if you look at the relationship between Shane Waldron, Shane Waldron and Gerald Everett, it kind of is one of those guys that where Everett can unlock the rest of the offense. I love the personnel grouping mention, mentioning here because Waldron, he comes from that class of 11 personnel, one running back, one tight end, three wide receivers. The reality is, though, when you're in that 11 personnel, teams have to respect your ability to run the football. With Cole Komet on the field, no one will respect the Bears' ability to run the football. There's a lot I like about Cole Komet. I've done a lot of film reviews. We've done a lot of film reviews on this channel looking at Darnell Wright, specifically their young tackle. Every time we look at Cole Komet next to Darnell Wright, Cole Komet looks god-awful run blocking. Nobody fears Cole Komet. Gerald Everett, well, he's not an elite run blocker. He is much more accomplished. People respect him a lot more, specifically with the Chargers. He was very physical when he needed to be for that Chargers running game. He is known as a guy who will stick his head in there, be physical, and execute and scratch and claw and get the job done. That will allow the Bears to use that 11 personnel, and teams will have to respect the running game, which will open up the passing game for Caleb Williams. They also need a physical presence at the tight end position over the middle of the field. Again, Cole Komet... I feel like his best plays at wide receiver are, are at tight end or when he's almost split out like a wide receiver where he's offset, right? Almost like Jimmy Graham, like a mini Jimmy, Jimmy Graham kind of role. He doesn't jump off the tape as a guy who's a physical presence over the middle of the field. The Bears, Caleb Williams, they're going to need it, right? If you look at their receiving core, it's a lot of explosive talent. Keenan Allen, I, we know he's a feisty guy. He'll go over the middle, but he's getting up there in age. You want someone to take some of those targets away to get some of that load away from Allen, and that's exactly what Everett did with the Chargers, right? Everyone is focusing on the addition of Keenan Allen. Everyone's talking about the rookies, DJ Moore going into another year with the Bears, 
running back position, right? There's a lot to be excited about, but I think the Everett addition, people aren't focusing on it enough, has a chance to have an outsized impact. I'm not saying he's going to lead the team in catches or yards or touchdowns or any of that, but his impact when it comes to personnel groupings and moving the chains in terms of his ability to attack the middle of the field and be physical over the middle will have a huge impact on this Bears offense. Yeah, Nick, and you key in on the personnel groupings, and I think you really hit the nail on the head. That's truly the most important part, especially in the Shane Waldron-led offense. Because if you look back to 2023 with his time in Seattle, this is a guy who ran the second highest percentage of 12 personnel formations. That's run one running back, two tight ends, two receivers. But he also ran the 10th highest perci- uh, percentage of 13 personnel formations, one running back, three tight ends, and one receiver. So I think any time that you give a guy like Shane Waldron a really great option as a receiving threat in the tight end position or give them guys that can be serviceable if you're looking at that 13 personnel formation have a guy that can maybe come in as a tight end but definitely be a blocker as well I think these are the kind of players that really are going to make a Shane Waldron led offense shine we saw it in Seattle it's something he did quite often more than almost anyone else in the NFL and I think we're going to see a lot more of this in Chicago as well I'm glad to see Everett here and like you said might not really be an option that everybody is looking at, but I think the addition of a guy like Everett is really going to change the way this offense in Chicago is run. I love the fact you brought up the 12 and 13 personnel packages too, because just because they come into the formation with two or three tight ends doesn't mean it's a heavy personnel grouping and everyone's at the line of scrimmage like it's power football. You hearken back to the old Patriots days about 10, 12 years ago when they would have those multiple tight end sets. They really lined up a lot of those guys at wide receiver. And if you look at Cole Komet, he actually had more snaps in the slot position that he did as an inline tight end, right? That means commit. He's a hybrid guy, right? He's not a traditional tight end. He is a tight end slash wide receiver, line up, do everything, be a playmaker. He can be very good at that, but you're going to need a physical presence like Everett to allow you to run those 11 personnel, those 12 personnel, maybe even those 13 personnel. If you want to throw a third tight end on the field, And in order for teams to respect your ability to run, you need to have a guy like Everett who can run block. And you also need to have a guy who can create big plays like Komet certainly can as well. We're going to see a dynamic pairing here between Komet and Everett, along with the rest of this receiving core, young quarterback Caleb Williams for the Spares offense in 2024. And it seems to be all part of a Shane Waldron-led plan that'll really revitalize the Chicago attack.